Avenue, it's your man Kadon Sterling. Welcome to Cars Golf and Cigars, baby. We are at Trilogy Cigar Lounge here in Atlanta, Georgia, which is connected to Sweet Lounge. And everybody in Atlanta comes to Sweet Lounge, and everybody in Atlanta comes to Trilogy Cigar Lounge. So now I'm here to show y'all what it's all about. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification button, hit all the buttons. All right, come with me. It's your man Kadon Sterling. Come on. Hey, what's happening? Paul's Golf and Cigars is your man, Kadon Sterling. I'm sitting here with the one and only Mr. Henry Stokes from on? Trilogy Cigar Lounge, brother. Good to, good to see you, brother. On, man. See yes, you, man. yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm good. I'm good, good man. Good, good, good. I wanted to tell everybody, listen, I came to this man's establishment and was so impressed by it, I had to give him a business card and I said, brother, I need Trilogy on Paul's Golf and Cigars. You know what I mean? I need to sit down and need to talk to the man himself. First thing we want to go over, though, is what these sticks are. Though. Brother, what we got right here? So another trilogy we make all our own cigars. So we smoke in the MIA. Okay. Called the MIA trilogy logo with the, with the flag. Tobacco grown in Pennsylvania. So it's, a, it's Pennsylvania broadly with some Doran and Dominican tobacco and filler and binder. So it gives this kind of like almost spicy like cinnamon type note. Yeah. And you get a lot of that leather, yeah, that yeah. coffee. Yeah, it's not too that. heavy, but it's yeah, just but it's, right. It's right in the middle. It's yeah. a medium stick. You know, yeah. I like I, I don't like to make cigars, so everything that we carry, of course we make. Okay. And so we I don't like to do cigars that are pepper bumps. You know, I feel like it could be full of flavor without knocking you on your ass, you know, where anybody exactly. can just enjoy the cigar. Exactly. You know, my thing is I'm not trying to have you walking out of your life. Exactly. You know, I want exactly. you to have a great exactly. cigar yeah. experience. Because the biggest thing I'll get from people is Oh, I tried it one time and made me sick. You know, and I'm like, I don't do cigars anymore. Well, why? What did you smoke? And all those things yeah. get into it, bro. It's been too far. You know, they just didn't have the right person to actually educate you. Exactly. That's all it was. You know what I'm saying? For you, your very first, your very first love or memory of saying, damn, I'm going to be a cigar guy. Mm. This is what I need in my life. This is me. This is mm. part of my personality. You know, this is part of who I am. It's not, it's just like when you put on your shoes, yeah. when you put on the right shirt, you know. When you, like, where was you or how old was you or what have you when you first decided this is it? I was 16. My dad gave me a money crystal number two on the bottom of it for my 16th birthday. <laughs> and that's been ever since. That's been ever since. All right. We'll definitely shout out to that. Yeah. That's yeah. good taste right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You got your first money crystal at 16. It's 16. Okay. I didn't, I didn't really get my first Monte Cristo for at least 10 years ago, man. So, right, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a young lady who put me on to it. She was like, nah, you smoking the wrong thing. What's that, a Java? Yeah, okay, come here, come, come here. Yeah, 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 let me help you out. Yeah, okay, uh, so you in Atlanta, Georgia now. Uh -huh. Y'all decided to get together and put the business here. Uh -huh. You know, how do you how do you feel about it, man? How do you feel about the environment? You know, why Atlanta, Georgia? Why not Miami? Why not Delaware, North Carolina? Why here? Atlanta is the number one thing I'm working for. Atlanta is extremely competitive cigar market. It's nearly a hundred, over a hundred, over a hundred cigar shops in Los mm -hmm. You throw a stone in a mile, you're gonna walk into one. Yeah, so yeah. for me, it was like one I live in too. It's like why not compete with the best? Yeah. If you're gonna do it, you should just do it. You okay. Know? So okay. I wanted to put my plant, my flag in the home where you got the best competition. Okay. You know? And I believe it is by by far the best cigar community. I believe so too, man. I'm out here now also. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm by state. I tell people all the time. I'm in New York. I'm in right here in GA. And it really is the, the classmanship. I would have absolutely say the classmanship of old school feeling of what the cigar is supposed to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Like from the almost the 70s, late 70s, 80s. That's what I feel here. It's a vibe here. Like even a couple of nights ago when I came here, I'm telling y'all, man, the vibe is, is why you, it's why you come to Trilogy. The vibe. You know, and I know y'all supply food here as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So we're connected to sweet food now. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, everything from a burger all up to lobster. <laughs> you know, you can enter for a bar okay. while having your cigar and being able to enjoy a meal. Like, I think that's the that's, that's the experience that you just have to get. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I definitely would have to admit this though: the service is exceptional. I had a young man who was one of my servers. And he absolutely came back and forth to me a few times. Hey, he even got a chance to learn my name. Yeah, nice. And came to me and said, nice. Mr. Sterling, you need anything yeah. else? Yeah. I'll be right back, Mr. Sterling. I got these other people. Do you need anything else? 
And that right there, yeah, that right there really actually, seriously, yeah, he was. Excellent, excellent server, man. And then when you have that to top it off, when you have the owners come to you and go, do you need anything? That's a, that's a major, major plus to me. I've been in a lot of cigar lounges where you just blend in, you mix in, but i seen Mr. Stokes talk to everybody in here, face to face, shaking hands, and that's how you make the connection I mean, with and for me, that's what it was about. It was about, like, how do you create something where strangers become fast friends? Yeah. You know, I wanted a, a small, intimate space. My space is not large at all. Our capacity is about 75 people. And it was just about curating the experience. You know, I think, and no knock to any other cigar lounge of what they do, yeah. you know, but oftentimes, again, like you say, it's almost like a glorified sports bar, yeah. you know, where get your cigar, sit down over there and, and talk to your group of friends and the owner might roll around if he feels like it, yeah, you yeah. know, or there's yeah. this, sometimes yeah. there's this elitist attitude with, yeah. with people who own a cigar bar, yeah, you know, yeah. like, I'm the man, this is my spot, yeah. you know, but for me, you know, I don't have a VIP, I don't have a safe, yeah. I don't have a... I don't have a designated seat for myself. It's get in where you fit in, man. Because if you went to your friend's house, yeah. just because Tommy has known him for three years longer than you, that don't mean Tommy getting a good chair. Exactly. That just means you sit where you got. What time you got here is going to determine when, where you sit. And so with Trilogy, it's like a it's like a love. I wanted it to feel like you were just at a friend's house. That's you what's know, up. I just, and I wanted to treat everybody like they're my friend. That's what's up, man. We're going to go inside. Mr. Stokes is going to show us around. You know, so you can actually see how this is done right here at Trilogy Cigar Lounge in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, stick with us, man. Cars, golf, and cigars. We'll be right back. Excellent, brother. Excellent, brother. Welcome back to Cars, Golf, and Cigars. This once again is your man, Kadon Sterling. I'm sitting here with Mr. Henry Stokes. We are in Trilogy Cigar Lounge in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm, we are actually upstairs right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a two, it's a bi-level um, establishment. Now, this is what I call great space management, man. Space management at its best. The designer, who's responsible for this? So, actually, this space was like this when I came. Okay. It's at one point was a gelato place. So okay. the, the place they go was once called Lucky Lounge and this was Charm. So this oh, was this like was a <laughs> like a like a, <laughs> yeah. a ice cream shop. Yeah. Um so the original architect designed this like this, so I just literally came in and just, you know, place things in sequences, like where the couches are, the tables are just strategically to make it utilize the space in the best way possible because again, you know what I mean, I wanted to have this intimate feel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wanted to be the green people. And it and force people to have a conversation, you know, with the wrap around the bench. It kind of just forces that yeah. communication, you know. I don't like, but one night we had Cam Newton in here, and it was just like he was just sitting here, and some random guy was sitting next to him, and it just forced these people to just have a conversation, you know, regardless of your status or your level. What I tell people about that, I say, one of the things that I really, really appreciate about, appreciate about cigar lounges is you don't need to walk in there with no clue. You can walk in there by yourself. You will leave with a friend. With a friend. You will leave with a friend. All you need is a stick, a good conversation, and something to engage with. You will leave with a friend. Everything in here reminds me of sitting around in your living room yeah. or yeah, your loft. You know, and that's how it feels. It doesn't feel like you went out. It feels like you went to somebody's house. Yeah. And so, like, even like both of the decor here came out of my car. Okay. You know, so I wanted it truly wanted it to feel like you were just at a friend's house. Yeah. And y'all just having a kickback. Cool. And having a good time. Yeah. You know. Uh, so yeah, I wanted it to feel oh, like you I didn't do a bar. You accomplished that. Lockers, you know. <laughs> that was the reason. Like, that was the reason I didn't do a bar. Yeah. I didn't do lockers. I didn't want it to feel like you were at a traditional cigar lounge. I wanted it to be something completely different than what you've never experienced in that space. You know. I definitely, even the chandelier, man, I, I couldn't keep my eyes off of that. I said, man, that, that was a really classy touch right there, you know, with everything, because it just works with the room, you know, and it, it makes the room even bigger, you know, and, and it gives it that, that, that touch of class that cigar lounges is supposed to have. Correct. 
you know, yeah. or what have you, man. But what, that night I was here, one thing that I was very, very impressed with also, man, is like I said, the way the, 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 the staff came to you, but the sound system in here, mm. it's serious, man. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. serious, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, you don't know if they were going to play Big Daddy Kane or Al Green or some Josh Stone. Or, it was just like, ultra like, damn, you forget that you went out, man. You really feel like you were somebody who really housed and you just cool it out the way everything was. You know, and I, I really, um, I was impressed with that. Yeah, from the music standpoint, so I worked in music for 10 years. Before I started doing this, I worked in music. Yeah. You know, managing songwriters and producers. So music has always been a love of mine. So, and I'm the type of person, I listen to everything. Like yeah. when I'm driving in the car, I listen to country music exclusively. Driving. Okay. You know, I, so I listen to everything. 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 So when I was putting together my playlist, you know, Matter of fact, it's on Spotify. You can download the playlist. It's just a trilogy or the zoo. Okay. Um, but what I just wanted to make it feel like a bit of everything. Like I travel a lot, so you know, I wanted to hear them sounds that I hear when I'm uh, in Dubai or when I'm um, in right. you know Croatia or That's London. Right. I wanted to bring all that Africa. I wanted to bring all that together and make this like gumbo of music where you like it didn't matter who you were. You walked in the door, a record that you that touched your soul is gonna, gonna come on at some point on that playlist. That's what I'm talking about, man. Because I remember I was sitting right up there, and after a while, you can't be too cool in here. You got to get up. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, get up, man. Yeah. You can't play that like I'm too cool for school up in here. You got to get up and, and stand up. I was looking over and going, damn, what they playing? Yeah, yeah. That right there. We went to, we went to, the, um, <laughs> went to Reasonable Doubt. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I want to make sure people can definitely find y'all, man, on any social media platform. Yeah, yeah. What do you have? It's Trilogy ATL. Okay. Truly JTL on Instagram. We mainly mainly Instagram is what we really use. I mean we have Twitter but we don't really use Twitter. It's truly JTL on Instagram and then you can of course go to our website, trilogycigarlife.com and our cigar company because we make our own cigar, our truly cigar company. Yeah. Com. Yeah, I'm appreciating this right here. Oh, yeah, man, no this right here? Yeah. This is me and this yeah. bro. This is grown man smoke mm -hmm. right here, man. Yeah, all day. Absolutely. All day. Absolutely. This is grown all man day. smoke. You, you mentioned you're from Miami originally. Yeah, I'm from Miami. I'm from Miami originally. Okay, yeah. okay. I was just telling my soul that I actually, I like Miami a lot, you know. But um, I was down in Carroll City. I believe my brother's from Liberty City. Liberty City, yeah. And um, I was just saying, man, I had a great weekend by getting lost. Right. Because that's the other side of Miami people don't know about. Exactly. And everybody keep thinking about South Beach. Nah, mm -hmm. man. Nah, when nah. you go over that bridge, it's a whole other world. It's a whole other Miami. Whole, that is not Miami you see on TV. Trust me. <laughs> if you ain't ready for that, stay over there. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, Miami is a different type of animal. I remember yeah. I was, and this is true. This is an exclusive. I'm telling you the truth too. I remember walking in the Rolex mm -hmm. yes. and watching Trick Daddy walk out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what caught me, what surprised me, was the fact that the brother was really truly by himself. By himself, yeah. Chilling. Like you could go there now and trick that and be in the parking lot selling plates out of yeah. Oh, yeah, you can get a cop dinner from front trick. Got some plates. Like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It was like and nobody was tripping, no like that. They was like, all right, get on me. Yo, it was just it's, it's a different kind of love on the other side of the bridge, man. Yeah, man. Hey, do yourself a favor. Yeah, 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 absolutely. The other side of the bridge, everybody's struggling. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, it was real. Everybody. Oh, it got serious. So Everybody got to look out. Yeah, it was real serious when I was in Liberty City and yeah. Carroll City. I realized I was not on Ocean Drive. Not at all. Not, not at all. all. You don't see not one Lambo. No. That's over. <laughs> yeah. That's over. Black shit is yeah. dumb. That's it. Yeah. Now, speaking of the whole thing with Miami, I know cigars is huge. Mm -hmm. Huge down there. The culture is huge right. down there. How do you feel the difference between the Miami culture of cigars and Atlanta culture? It's the, it's the Latin influence in Miami. Okay. What I feel about the culture in Atlanta, to just be frank, the soul, the African American soul that has been infused in the cigar culture in Atlanta makes Atlanta so special, so different. You think about all of the most amazing cigar bars and lounges in Atlanta, Black Lawn. Yeah. You know, yeah, so true indeed, the most popular places are black owned. Yeah. And even 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 the places that you wouldn't think have a, a black owner. You know, yeah. you know, so it's it's like so when you walk in you're gonna hear the music you yeah. wanna hear, you're yeah. gonna you're gonna you're gonna see the faces you wanna yeah. see and you're gonna see beautiful black people getting along and having a good 
time together. Yeah. You know, become friends and the camaraderie and it and it quickly became like a fast family. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And that's why I love that. Like even in even in Miami you have when you cross that bridge again, you got oh, yeah. the black cigar bars and they, they just go there and then you got the mm -hmm. you got the Latin stores and the manna and so and then you have your pretentious high dollar shelf on the okay. top oh, so, yeah. you know, but in Atlanta I think no matter what type of level of cigar lounge experience you want, still gonna have that same home feel to it. Absolutely. Wherever you go, because it's done with soul. I tell yeah. people all the time, first thing they gotta understand is we got a man named Keisha. Yeah, exactly. Okay, if that don't say nothing yeah. for you right there. Exactly. The man name is Keisha. The man Keisha. All yeah. right, so shout out to man Keisha. So you know what you're getting with. Exactly. I mean, even with like, you know, we do, Atlanta Cigar Week. So myself and a couple of friends created Atlanta Cigar Week. Okay. Actually, um, and when is that coming up? Um, so it's the third week of September. Okay. The third week of September is Atlanta Cigar Week. But the city of Atlanta gave us a proclamation. Last year was that's our second year. We have an official week now. Like the third week of September is the official week of cigars in, in Fulton County. Man, like that's, that's crazy. Congratulations to, be on to you on yeah, that right there. You know what I'm saying? That's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. But yeah. it also shows the support of the cigar community in Atlanta. Well. Oh, definitely. You know, they, they care about what definitely. we're doing and it matters. And like, like you that. said, what I really appreciate most about it too is the camaraderie of just everybody become regular folks and yeah. all, all the celebrity stuff comes out and leaves at the door. The you know, I, I met Dr. J and his wife in a cigar bar here in Atlanta. Yeah. I was looking at Dr. J like Julius like, Earth. Bro, you know who you are. He's like, man, man, yeah. you got a light? Can yeah. I borrow your light? And yeah. it's just like, it's just like old friends kicking and you like, man, I just gave Dr. J my wife. I swear I used to watch you when I was a kid. I was, you know, really, I was a little kid, man. I was there. Ain't no one saying the man. I was like, that's yeah. Earth right there. Yeah. But he was in a cigar spot yeah. with his wife. That's just relaxing, man. And that happens yeah. all the time, man. Yeah. Like, it'd be nothing like walk into High Life, for example, another black owned cigar bar. Yeah. Yeah. I walk in one day and this ludicrous little dude following the corner playing spades. That's it. And somebody else in the bar. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, what up? Yeah. Oh, what up? And then you just can't kind of keep it yeah. moving because everybody is cool with everybody. Yeah. And, and it's true, though. I tell people all the time about the, um, the business camaraderie as well. Mm -hmm. And I like the term that you use, fast family. Because it's one of the few places I've been to in this country where you honestly can just say, Hey, you doing, man? I got this going on. And somebody will come to you and say, What you got going on? What you need? You need to holler at my man. Yeah. And they mean it. And it happens. And then they, yeah. they're mad. And they're going to be like, Okay, yeah. cool. How can I help? And that's what I love about that. Yeah. About this community. Like, when yeah. we're doing events or whatever it is that we're doing, like, a lot of the shop owners are just. Like there's shop owners now, like I remember when I first opened, we was carrying everybody's cigars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was shop owners I could call like, yo, I can't get an account with this particular brand. They'd be like, say no more, come by, I'll yeah. sell you my extra boxes at the wholesale cost. You know, like, or they'll just give them to me and say, just make your money this weekend, come hit my hand next week. Like, what? Who does that? You they know, want to they, they see you win. They want to see you win. I, I really do. I, I'll course. tell anybody about that. They want to see you win. You know, what y'all can do, stick with me. I want Mr. Stokes to give you a small tour, and we'll be right back. Cars go for some dogs. Well, Cars Golf and Cigars, your man Kadar Sterling. I got my brother right here, Mr. Henry Stokes. One thing I definitely got to do, man, because I, I need to know, because I'm looking around. The zoo. Yeah. The zoo. I see the sign up here. Welcome to the zoo. You got to tell me the concept behind it. So, uh, say around 2015? Yeah. I was working on this like idea. I had this idea. I wanted to do an art project and kind of do uh, every cigar named that they have. Okay. And create like the art on the cigar boxes with the human bodies with animal heads. And almost like this, the idea for me was like the animal inside of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who, 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 you, what, what, who's your animal? 
Yeah. You know what I mean? And I kind of create these cigars. Gotcha. And I was just calling the series the Zeus. Okay. So when I came creative, here, creative, real creative. Um, I was like, man, this could just be the zoo in real life. Yes. You know, so I was like, let's just slap welcome to the zoo up here. And and then I just started sourcing like artwork and stuff with animals. So like all those pieces with the human bodies, animal heads on the wall that we had currently, you know, something I was able to find on Google. Mm -hmm. Reached out to the photographer and got his permission to put the art up. Um, and then I had commissioned some pieces. So the, the I'm really yeah, this part right here. Yeah. So we do an art show. Okay. The first out of the every month, we allow artists to come in and, and, and turn our space into a gallery. Right. So actually, one of our original partners, Ray Vaughn, he also designed our logo. He's one of those guys that he can do everything well, you know. So Ray was like, well, next month, I'll do the show. And I was like, what are you going to do? Because I didn't even know Ray did art. Yeah, yeah. He shows up with all these dope ass oh, this is great. pieces. I mean, he did more. There's a, there's, a, there's a zebra upstairs. There's a wolf upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an elephant upstairs. And so we, and then in turn, took all those pieces he did and made them, you know, cigar bands for our cigar collection. Nice. So we have the zebra. We have the tusk, which is an elephant. We have, you know, the deer. We have all those in our collection. So our, you know, starter cigars are all the zoo series. Nice, man. Yeah. Nice. Because even this this piece over here yeah. just. Man. Yeah, so TJ, the artist TJ, he did this piece. Um, he went to FAMU. We were actually here doing some, uh, so I went to FAMU myself. Okay. So we're doing a, we just hanging out. Yeah. You know, and TJ was like, man, I like the art in here. And he was like, I'm an artist. And actually, I got a piece in the car. I was like, a piece in the car? He was like, yeah, I'll grab it. He went out to the car, grabbing the bunny. I was like, yo, that's yeah. the most perfect piece for the space. It's necessary. I got to have it. It's yeah, necessary. So, yeah. so Absolutely, man. Yeah. Yeah. And see, once, once again, I'm talking about the classmanship of how you actually thought about this before you opened it up. Mm -hmm. The fact that it does make you feel like, yo, I'm going yeah. to my man. I was all, that's, that's it. I just yeah. wanted to feel like, so even like the simple bar card, this rug was in my crib. You know, like these walls, me and my partner, Ty, yeah. spray painted these walls out of Hey, man, we might have went through 14 bottles of Kansas <laughs> gold paper. I had gold in my nose for weeks. You know, because I wanted something. When I was looking at it, when I saw this wall, I was like, I didn't just want a plain wall. And I was like, I want something that's going to force people to take pictures. Yeah. I want to get to the point where you can stand when right you see here, that gold wall. Yeah, it's like a backdrop. Yeah. But when you see that gold wall on somebody's picture, you're going to automatically tag me. And now people tag me on go walls and be like, that's some place in LA. That ain't even here, but yeah. you know, I thought it was that. Oh, really? it does, though. You I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. Man, there's a couple of spots in LA that only a few spots that make you feel like this, but you will walk through that door and forget you even on the East Coast. Yeah. You will. Yeah. And I know in the summertime, this must be amazing. Well, the summertime is amazing. We've got, oh. got the patio outside. Oh, man. You know what I mean? So, in the suite, you know, on the weekend, they turn to a nightclub. Yeah. We open until 2, 3 in the morning. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. you know, at 10 o'clock at night. It's our, even though we always try to keep our vibe, a loungy, low key vibe, but we still, still having a great oh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's all about the experience. Because at the end of the day, I think also to a lot of the other cigar lounges in the city, they don't really give young people, you know, a space to cut, you know, let loose and actually enjoy a lounge experience. You know, because most of them are going to close early, you know, close around 10, 11 o'clock. So, what do you do with? Two in the morning on a Friday, and you don't really want to go to the club, but you want to go somewhere and have a good time. So Absolutely. that's what I was thinking. Like we can Absolutely. create a, we can create that environment, that atmosphere. Yeah. Let me tell right you something. Exactly. One of the other things I always tell people also: when you come to a cigar lounge, a real cigar lounge, you will mature quickly. Okay. Because you already don't want to walk in a cigar lounge with any kind of rah rah in your mind. Right. This is a place you want to engage in a conversation. You actually look forward to having a good stick and a good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And a good cognac. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I know y'all serve drinks. I know y'all yeah. got access to food and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But when I tell you, you will have a great time and you will, you will mature quickly. I tell people, the most mature people in the world, even if you're not, you will be. Right. When you walk into a cigar right. lounge, because the atmosphere the demands cali and the caliber of people, the caliber, you know, the you caliber of people, some some quality people. I mean, yeah. you think about it, you gotta, of course, there's gonna be someone who's fiscally responsible. If anybody who's setting fifteen dollars on fire every time they sit down, hopefully they're fiscally responsible. Absolutely, you know. Um, so it Absolutely. just demands a different type of Absolutely. human. Yeah, to even be involved yeah it's a in certain classmanship, like man. I'm telling you, Mr. Stokes, it's a certain classmanship. That's why I'm happy that you granted my my channel and my audience okay. the opportunity no 
inside of your world. You know, I, I love how y'all actually took, y'all paid attention to detail, down to even how you got your curtains here. This is paying attention yeah, to yeah, detail. Yeah. You know, just all, all this, man. Just how you put this all together yeah, right here. You know, keep a beautiful black woman on the cover oh, right there. You, you gotta have that. Ain't better than the oh, woman. You man. gotta have that right there. there. You, you know, to. you gotta have that. You, got you know what I'm saying? All of this is paying attention to detail. Just even the way you set up these mm -hmm. right here, man. It's like a zen vibe. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you feel like you gotta be too bougie. Nah, nah, nah. Not and right. I don't want nobody to feel like Not that because we don't have a dress code. Although I dress like this every day. People yeah. in, in, in our Instagram You dictate the atmosphere of your, of your establishment Instantly assume we have a dress code I get calls every and day You have a dress code yeah. I don't have a dress code But I also want you to, you know Come your best Come your best Because there's always be some beautiful women here You know, you want to present well as a, yeah. as a guy Or even as a young lady yeah. You come in here expect oh, yeah. to see some, you know Educated, well-dressed, like-minded men So I think that, you know The details of it all Was also about the way I make the space look, mm -hmm. it's gonna also help curate the people who come. Absolutely. You know, just just automatically. Like if I came to a cigar lounge and it was a little junky and it was a yeah, deer yeah, with a bra yeah. hanging off the yeah. antler, <laughs> I probably would my shorts on and my sneakers. You're talking about New Orleans right now. You know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I know the vibe. You know what I'm saying? I got a flask in my yeah, cargo yeah. pocket, you know, I'm, I'm chilling. You know, so I think that. Little third, little fifth, yeah, 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 yeah. I put him a little spot. Yeah. I got him a flop, you know. Yeah. But in here, yeah. I want you to, I yeah. want you to pull yourself yeah. together. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, cause we make soups in here too, so you can get a soup tailored in here. You can get oh, like we on. make shoes. Like the jacket I have on is a trilogy jacket. Like I we, see. we make our own stuff. I we see the trilogy pants. I, I, I appreciate own. logo yeah. and brand. Mm -hmm. Because one of my, my company, my main company is called Fearless Ambition mm. Inc. Okay. And Fearless Ambition Inc. is a branding company. Yeah. And it's all about helping other smaller companies develop themselves when they right. get a little stuck. Right. And right. I tell people about branding and, and, and actual logos and everything like that down to the pen on the it's jacket. Right. Man, that's a, that's stuff is important. Thing. People don't it's realize the important. detail because you are what right. you represent. Yeah. Live who you are. I tell exactly. people that all the time. Live who you are. Because I tell, and that's the thing. That's the truth, man. I embody truth. I am truth. There like, you go. Down to those colors. That's there you Miami. Go. Yeah. You oh, know, that teal. That's Miami. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I yeah. am trilogy. This gold. Yeah. You know, like all of this is like, like the gold grills in Miami. Yeah. Like I wanted that gold. Yeah. You know, and like a lot of people they look at we make this cigar yeah. called the Anatomy, and it has a, a skull with a gold teeth, top and bottom. Yeah. You know, people look like what? That's interesting. And I'm like. I want people to know I'm from Miami. I'm Absolutely. proud of being Absolutely. from Miami. So when you see that gold, you know, you see certain things, you know, I wanted to feel like those dreads. I just oh, wanted yeah. to give it my, yeah. my interpretation. Of I'm gonna tell you something, that yeah. fan you pride is strong. Yeah, oh yeah. That's what I ain't gonna oh, yeah. play with. I went to one yeah. tailgate party over there. It was a whole different, that was a different environment. Yeah. That fam you pride is strong, brother. That fam you changed my life. <laughs> I was <laughs> saying. Like, like, man, I actually was going to go to the University of Miami. Okay. So, okay. it's got to say the University of Miami, everything. I go to like one little visit of fam you and messed around and saw those AKAs walk Oh, yeah. That was it. I was signed. That was, that was it. it. I was done. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. I'm here. Do y'all got my major? <laughs> <laughs> I had to find out. Yeah, well, you're the architecture, right? All right, you better sign it up. Yeah, yeah this is you, why I'm at. You got me. Yeah, got, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Me. I'm here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But once again, I just want to tell you now, I appreciate you. I appreciate you Thank so you. much for Thank being you. on Cars Golf and Cigars and, and actually allowing the audience to actually see inside your world yeah. and everything they got going on. Don't forget Trilogy, Cigar Lounge, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. You know, yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, Trilogy ATL. Trilogy I know we're going to be hard to find. That's all good. Look for that's, all the hashtags. That's on purpose. Yeah. When you're looking for our physical location, just look for the gold deer on the wall. We don't have a sign. That's on purpose. You know, there you go. You know, if you know, you know. You don't, you don't. Oh, yeah. Because I've seen some people go around. They was like, where you going? They're going around. Nah, nah, nah. And some people just walk right in. They don't yeah. say nothing to them. Yeah. You know, and that's when I seen all them big boy toys parked outside. Right, I knew like, okay, I was okay, there. Right <laughs> <laughs> there was some big boy toys yeah. out there that night I was here, yeah. man. They were parked all over the place. I yeah, said, okay. Man. And everybody was in a, such a beautiful mood, such a beautiful vibe. And if that's what it's all about, man. That's what it truly is all about. I tell people all the time, I'm here to educate you on the etiquette of the atmosphere of what cigar lounges all over the country is supposed to bring to you. Exactly. That's what it's about, man. Because it does. You know? And it, it does. does. It does. It does. It does. It Absolutely. Does. My brother. Thank you, sir. Mr. Henry Stokes, man. man Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Stick with us. Cars, golf, and cigars. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. 
up top somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but hit that notification button. All right, we got you. Thank you so much for chilling with us, checking out our channel. Talk to you in a minute.